Good morning everybody from Spezi 2023 in Germany. We're just before we open the gates, um, I'm actually camping out with the crew from Azeb, the company that makes my recumbent trike and, and we're behind the show and we're setting up right now, everybody's sort of getting ready. Uh, I'm standing in the lecture hall, which is pretty wild. This place was once a factory. It has been converted into this year's Spezi location. And I gotta tell you what, it, it, is a, it is an amazing show. Yesterday was a rousing success in my opinion and in the opinion of everybody, everybody I talked to, whether they were vendors or attendees. It was a real testament to uh, the reinvention of the show because it has changed hands of ownership. And although the, the last Bezzy was very cool, I, I went there, I think in 2015 or maybe even 14. But this one is has got a certain breadth of unique flavor. Uh, the halls have like this kind of interesting industrial feel to it. And even the, the floor here in the lecture hall is like that aged brick floor. Anyways, I will be standing up here doing my uh, lecture today where I'll be talking about my, my journeys around the world. I'm a little bit nervous actually. I'm not 100% sure what to say because in America, when you're talking to Americans about my tour, it, it's, it's a little bit different because cycling in America is more of a hobby, but cycling here is more of a culture. And, and I'm a little nervous because my exploits might seem interesting to Americans, but might seem mundane to people who cycle as a lifestyle. <laughs> so anyways, it is going to be what it is going to be. But uh, yeah, I wanted to check out this, this place where I'll be talking. Just gonna give you an idea. This is the lecture hall. But at one point in time, somebody was here. I don't know. Look at the size of this. What were they doing in here? It was a workshop. Now it's a workshop for lectures. <laughs> the village that we're in is Lochregen. Oh, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but <laughs> I've tried to refrain from pronouncing it because I know I'm going to get it so wrong. But uh, it's it's interesting because it's because it's such a small like uh, community. There's a lot of locals involved, and you have like hundreds of well over a hundred volunteers. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> They're all helping out. There's a lot of people that are doing a lot of stuff. It's really a, a logistical undertaking for the people who organize this, which is Wolf Wolf and Wolf and Wolf. Kind of an interesting side note. Haberstock Mobility, their office is here. So if you have a Schlumpf drive or, or a product from Haberstock Mobility, this is where it came from. So beyond the you know the the de defunct factory that that ended up becoming the Spezi show, the, the office for Haberstock Mobility is here, which is kind of neat. I've communicated with so many of these companies over the years, and it's finally nice to kind of see see where they came from and meet the people in person. You know, uh, <laughs> come come up and say hi. This is my little podium here, so you got my picture and then Jayo. It's kind of funny because I've had a, a bunch of. And people who follow the channel come on by and say, hey, I know that trike, hey, I know that guy. Without, without suspension, without anything, and, and he went around the world. No, half, half the world, half so just uh, to New Zealand. <laughs> Facebook in those <laughs> days is complicated. One. That, is, that is my website. <laughs> uh, yeah, he you had can no have time it. for a blog because he's <laughs> writing a book. Oh, yeah. yeah, writing a book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. it, it is out in, in German. How, how did you find the traveling through Australia different? The distances. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the distances is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you just go nowhere. You, you, you're riding 100 k's a day, and that's, that's not, not special anymore. It's just, mm -hmm. you have to, because there is nothing in between. Yeah. <laughs> just... So you, had, you were doing the solar trip, right? Yes. Yeah. With Honza? With Honza. And you, you, how many miles or how many kilometers did you do in the solar trip? Eight, eight, over 8,000. 8,000. 8, 8, and so they were riding and they had the canopy with, yes. the, with the solar panels on top. And then and when the you finished... the trailer finish, behind us. In the trailer. Yep. And then you finished that trip. Yep. And then how did, the, how did you end up with the solar panels? Oh, I just saw a picture of their 
set up, set up <laughs> somewhere on the internet and said, that's what I wanted. I, I was just breaking my first one and I need a new one, yeah. so that will fit if we match them together. So I, I get in contact uh, with them and uh, then they said, oh, we had over 8,000 kilometers of experience. We don't know what to do. So <laughs> so they just built a new one for me awesome. with, uh, with uh, the trailer that you had somewhere in a the, in the barn. Was hanging oh, yeah. on the, we, the we didn't have any use for it. So <laughs> right. it was like stuck in the barn. And, and it's crazy because at the time when you were using it, I mean, the, the thought that went into making it and all of that, it was like, it was your life. Oh, yes. And then afterwards yeah. it's like, an ornament on the tree. It's gone. It's gone. It's to talk to different legendary people doing amazing tours and having really, really amazing experiences. Yeah. It's inspiring. Dave is actually painting. You were painting. You were posting those, those pictures. You were always uh, yeah, painting. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just, you just <laughs> stopped somewhere and did paint. <laughs> Nice place. Okay, I'll paint it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I like beards. You know, I like beards. I can't grow a beard very, very long. We, we can appreciate that together, right? You, David, that is, a long that is, a, how, how, you're like a tree, okay? How old is the beard? Uh, seven years, about. Seven years? <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't grow longer than that. Okay, okay. It's, it's like, I've had enough. Yeah. I've had enough. Riding on the recumbent, you can nicely, you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah, a, yeah. a good resting place, resting you know? Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you had this design? This design is uh, already two years, I think. All right, cool, cool, cool. You're pretty popular at the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big one. We have all the day yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was crazy. How did you get started? Was it always enclosed? Or did you start no, we with uh, just open? started as a hobby with a, with a, with a trike. <coughs> okay. And after that, after a few, uh, some, some experience, we made a housing about, around it. And uh, later on, we decided to go to four, four wheels. Yep. Position is can be fit uh, uh -huh. 10 centimeters. Uh, if you start pedaling, the uh, support will come automatically. Okay. You can set in three modes: uh, low, medium, and uh, high. Uh -huh. You have two brakes on both sides, uh, yep. front and uh, back. Okay. There we have a horn. Okay. Also blinkers. Okay. And uh, there you go. Ready to drive. Drive. So this could move back 10 centimeters. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Seat, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I am inside of a quad velo, and it's it's a little bit it's a little bit tight for my feet, not adjusted for me. <laughs> you know, I once had a fairing and a vel top on my on my trike, and so I'm used to having some some windows, but this is very interesting. Let's see if we can get up up to speed. used to this there are some interesting switches up here look at these these switches I wonder if you can open a window you should be able to open a window but I'm not sure how we're gonna pass by my picture hey that's me I could could use the seat to go back just a little bit would be nice we got some side view mirrors here kind of get a uh, get a view there's a bunch of different trikes and bikes and quads. This is a quad, meaning it has four wheels. There's a few different quads out there that I am kind of interested in trying out, but this is the first. Kind of exciting. I'm gonna do one more loop around. We'll do one more loop around. A lot of times the interesting thing about having a enclosed sort of velomobile style is that you, you don't feel the wind as much so I, I often think maybe on a really hot day it'll 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 bake you. Um, but I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of airflow from underneath coming on up, and that feels quite nice actually. I have a uh, turn signal, but it's on the hand that uh, that I'm holding the camera here right now. Yeah, if you look down, you can see all of that is uh, open air, so you get a lot of quite a lot of ventilation here. I mean, this could be this could be a ride that you commute to work. In Europe, there are probably a lot of people that would look at this as an opportunity to uh, cycle 
as a lifestyle. They'd say, this is going to be my commuter. This is how I'm going to get to and from work. But I don't think America has developed that sort of a lifestyle quite yet. Um, obviously, you're not going to see these riding on, on public roads in America. But you might see these riding around in, in Europe, for sure. You probably already do. So this is Jason. Jason. Jason is with uh, Three Ike. Three Ike. That's it. Three Ike. Don't know how to but spell it. But it's bike. It, it looks like bike. <laughs> anyway, he's in Madrid, and if we have an opportunity to get to Madrid, uh, of course, meet yeah. you there for a beer. That'd right? be great. You like That'd beer, be don't you? I do like beer. Okay, well, we'll have to share some. <laughs> if I didn't like beer, it'd be very tough to travel, you know, because like beer is a sort of a currency yeah, sometimes. You, 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 and that's, that's how you make friends, you know, <laughs> drinking that's and. Right. First experience. You must get some, recumbents. Yeah, you must get some interesting, like, you must hear that a lot, especially on the two-wheelers, you know? Would it they want to try it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you have to start it. You have to, you, know, everybody, you gotta try something, you know? This is usually when it's crowded, it's not the best place where you should start with recumbents, but... But, you know, yeah, throw you into the fire, trying. you'll figure it out. Yeah, trying hard. I'm in the Quad Velo area again, and uh, Terracycle Pat is, uh, is with me. He's going to try the Quad Velo. Yep, I'm looking forward to riding the Quad Velo, so is everyone else here. It seems like <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably one of the more, more popular booths, you know. Yeah. But they're set up kind of nice. I mean, they got five rides, but even with five rides, we waited in line for about a half hour. Yeah. I, I was told 45 minutes yesterday, so I thought I'd come back first thing this morning. <laughs> and what do I find? A, a long line. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. 10,000 euros. I can there see driving one of those. Okay. It is approaching go time and it's 12.43. I have my lecture coming up soon. So we are going to take the trike to the lecture hall area and I'm going to start figuring out how this lecture is going to go. So sort of excited about that. Hello. So I finished my lecture. How was it? I think it was a pretty good lecture. Not pretty good lecture. I told some, I told some side stories and uh, went over the tour and yeah, it was good. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I really think people would appreciate it if you did more of those. Yeah. Well, it's It's, it's uh, fries with cheese and gravy on top. Oh. Oh, that sounds good. And they added a little extra. They put a little bacon on top of it. This, this, this booth makes crispy cheese sandwiches. Oh, yeah, that's Did right, you have yeah. a crispy cheese sandwich? Not yet. Okay, I so guess, the, the, the story is that the owner of this company, who isn't here, where is he? Sorry? Where is, where is uh, the owner? In the kitchen. In the kitchen? Yeah, he's uh, working for tomorrow. Oh, I wanted to introduce him to my YouTube channel. Oh, you're his wife? Yes. Oh, okay. So, well, <laughs> the next best thing. So tell me the story. Tell me what happened. Okay. Yeah. My husband uh, makes a burger and he put um, the cheese on, on the patty and um, on the what is it? grill. On the, yeah, on the yeah. grill. And there um, on the side it is very crispy. Yeah. And he loves this. And then he thought, oh, I have to make a sandwich with just these crispy cheese. Yeah. And yes, here's the story. There you go. When they make a, make a sandwich or something, grilled cheese sandwich, and then the cheese falls off, and then you eat it like a potato chip, you know? I always, you know, yeah. I eat it, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty good, that's crispy cheese. So they they make crispy cheese sandwiches. And can you make me a crispy cheese sandwich? Yes, sure. Yeah. And me. what do you want with? Um, tomato, tomato? Uh, with pickle, with yes. lettuce, yes. 
and a crispy cheese. Okay. And bacon, and bacon. Add bacon to it. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Crispy, crispy cheese. Look at that thing. Normally, I would actually say that's what I'm going to do. It's very good. I had all of these amazing plans to, to walk around this show, try all these different sorts of bikes, trikes, quads. There's so many different vehicles here. I really wanted to give you guys a con comprehensive tour of this event, but I'll tell you what. It's really hard to get away from the Aza booth. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of buzz here. There's a lot of people wanting to take the trike out, and I'm I'm trying to facilitate. As a matter of fact, my trike is coming around, and and I want to be here if I lend anybody my trike, which is cool, you know, to lend people my trike. But I uh, I just I just haven't been able to do much, and I'm uh, I think next time I come to Spezi 2024. I will bring, I will need to have a camera guy with me and we need to have a shot plan and we need to go to like the top 10 craziest rides at Speggy and then we can go through and actually dedicate an entire day out of the booth to, to that and we'll do a top 10 and then go through, ride them, talk about them and then just boom, 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 boom because the, the hope of doing it and the reality of doing it are, are two completely distinct, separate things. Anyways, sorry about that. Hey Richard, I, I, cannot, I cannot finish the show without talking to you. Why? <laughs> because, because I didn't really, first of all, because we have a mutual friend, yeah. Mark, in, uh, in Vietnam. And secondly, because you have some amazing stories. Man. Yeah. Like, uh, like, so, just metrics. How many kilometers, how many miles have you ridden? Total? Total. In between the two, ten, two near, ten year decades? Yeah. Probably over 400,000. Miles or kilometers? Over kilometers at least minimum. I used to clock in miles, now I clock in kilometers. <laughs> I like kilometers better too, yeah. Well, the, the first years were American, so you clock in miles. And I was younger, so it's 100 miles a day. Now I'm older, I enjoy it at 70, 80 kilometers. You can, you can throw out, a, it's, like, it's like a game, you throw out a location and he'll have a story about it, like Pakistan, and he'll yep. go off, and then he'll go Afghanistan, okay, China, you know, Europe, and then you can just go throwing out all sorts of information, and you have a story about everything. I've been going to China since 88. Mimar, I went in 88. Uh, Asia and that, my first time around was 88, and I've been going back ever since, every so many years, so. And where do you, where can people like see you and follow you? Is there any, any like? I really, uh, no. You just gotta invite them in your house, give them. <laughs> well, I just put everything on Flickr, all my photos are on Flickr. Okay. Most of the rest of the stuff I temporarily stopped just because of Life. things yeah. like, and uh, I'm trying polar steps, but no, I'm not liking how What's it works. Polar Steps? Polar Steps is an app that you, you map where you've been, so you can map your thing, and it kind of gives you a general, but okay. the problem is it goes straight on the route, so your kilometers are like... Like as the bird flies, yeah. sort of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bird flies, so yeah. you look over and go like, ah. That's not really what I did. No. But if you pinpoint every point along the way, then it gives you accurate, but it wants you to put a picture. It's a nice free app to yeah. try, but... Yeah, then people that follow you have to, you can go without being a follower, but then they need the link, they yeah. need to do this, which is complicated for a lot of people, and people are simple. He's an avid, uh, you're, you're an uh, Azeb rider, right? Yeah. Have you always been riding Azeb, or was that something that no, was... I, that's when I started, I started with a normal 10 speed back in the 80s, Yeah. then I generated over to a mountain bike uh, for about the next... Oh, eight nine years then when I started out again I went out on my mountain bike came up with some wrist problems came up with the shoulder problems yeah. at my age getting a little older so I went to the recumbent eight years ago and been on it ever since and this last season they talked me into trying a trike 
Yeah, it was very nice across Africa and everything else, but I want my baby back. Yeah, he's here trying to develop and help Aza push Aza to develop a folding uh, mini. mini, which would allow him to. It's transportation track. and moving it back yeah. and forth. It's a lot easier. Same of the same of the issues you have yeah. where you're trying to go with bike flights and this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, you tell me when bike flights goes to Pakistan. Yeah. I'll, I'll be on. Then you'll be on board. I'll be on board with you. <laughs> when, when they when they all go from the backside of China from Rumchi to yeah, yeah. to drop me off in, in the in yeah. the middle of the the stands because two countries have decided yeah. to close because of you want options. You want options. I want options. But with a folding bike, the options take care of themselves. Yeah. It makes the weight that all airlines are changing to. It makes everything going there. Because this recent change with the airlines is... Yeah, there's some crazy stuff, especially if you want to bring your bring your vehicle to Asia. No, out know. of Asia. Out of Asia, out of out Asia. Out of Asia, it's 30 kilos. 30 kilos max. I'm way over that. Yeah. And you then know? put a seven pound, yeah. seven pound kilo bag on your back, and that's it. Yeah, and yeah. You're like this going into the airport. That's not cool. That's not no. cool. I'm I'm not going to get into it too much because it's a lo it's an interesting long story. But for all of you and me included that think that COVID was a reason to stop, this guy rode like all the way through COVID. I mean, you were. They did circles in Pakistan. Yeah, four yeah. Months and then did circles in Turkey. Yeah. And then. As soon as they opened the border to Europe, went all the way up into to Sweden and all the way back around. Yeah. During COVID, and no, never had to stop. Slow down. My kilometers went less. But <laughs> well, but you were still, still on the moving. road. You were still on the I was road. Still moving. Well, everybody was locked in their houses. Yeah. You were on the road. That's awesome, man. Well, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Cool. 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 That's the end, Honza. It is the end. It was a great show and this is the end. Everybody's busy uh, closing up everything. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work because they got to pack all of the trikes from the show into the, into the vehicles and then my ride is going to have to be packed in on top of everything to be dropped off in Italy. So there's some, some coordination that needs to happen but before we do, I'm going to go to dinner uh, with uh, Gary Solomon and friends. We're going to camp out here tonight uh, and the same tent and then tomorrow they'll shove my shove my ass into a van and we are going to be driving to Italia and uh, from there all sorts of adventures shall happen what a wonderful spetsy we all had and it was a wonderful time very successful to all the friends we made yeah. Yeah. To, a, to a show well done Still water is way better than fizzy water. I'm sorry. In Europe, we are we are the minority. We are the minority. It depends on it depends on the situation, you know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the day is at an end. I am officially going back to my tent. I'll try and make sure Azub has my trike all situated, but uh, yeah, I'm tired and uh, it's been a long day, good day. I uh, was in the restaurant and I met the previous owner of the Spetsy show and he's very, very happy with the way that the current show is being run, which is kind of cool. It's nice to be able to pass off a passion project and see somebody else do a good job with it. So, everybody's happy, I'm happy, and uh, yeah, time to hit the, hit the sack.